Hey, welcome back to 2DG. We got another beer review. What do we have this time? Well, we finally, uh, finally. have Bo and Luke. Um, admittedly, uh, I believe it'll be the next video that you see. Uh, we did try it at Dark Lord Day, but we don't really remember it that much. So, uh, we know we've been teasing it for a long time. We thought, eh, why not? Let's just get it done. Let's get it over with, let you know what's going on. Now, the first time mm -hmm. we ever had this was at Dark Lord 2015, yep. Dark Lord Day 2015. And uh, we were ecstatic to get it then. It was really good, from what I remember. Yeah. Uh, we were ecstatic to get our allotments this year, well, 2015. Yeah, which wasn't that hard to get. It was just a little bit of a drive. Yeah. So, uh, surprisingly, we did see quite a few overall mm -hmm. bottles of this at Dark Lord Day 2016. Uh, not including our own, but uh, we did open it. We did pour some for a few people, and got some nice pours back. Yep. So, what are you gonna say? So anyway, Bo and Luke against the Grand Brewery out of Louisville, Kentucky. Let's crack it open. Let's do it. Wax top, you know it's special. And uh, if it goes anything like the one at Dark Lord Day, it is a thick. Thick wax top. I remember it being quite a chore to open. Uh, I want you to pan real quick over here. A lot of wax on the cap. Admittedly, it it, it took a little bit of effort to get that <laughs> off. Thick. But, yeah. Let's go ahead and pour this in there. Um, the original version of Bone Luke was with another brewery as well. I forget the name of the other one, but uh, the first batch they actually put in Pappy Van Winkle. Bourbon barrels from Buffalo Trace. Nice. Um, but I believe that's the only batch they ever put in that kind of barrels, which kind of sucks, but eh, I'm still excited. All right. Now, it was pouring out a little bit lighter than I remember. You can see through it a little bit at the bottom. It's a reddish chocolatey brown. Yeah. Um, the head's a nice eh, off white to. Creamy. Yeah, light caramel color. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's yeah. a creamy, pillowy kind of head, too, there. Yeah, and it is 13%, so the head sticking around is kind of surprising. I think it's all those sugars. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get in those. All right. A <laughs> little bit of vanilla there. A little bit of... I don't, wanna, I don't know if it's... The oak or what? But I'm say I mean a little bit of that vanilla he was talking about. A little bit of caramel toffee in there, not a lot. Um, you are getting a lot of the uh, toasted burnt malts. Um, getting a little bit of the uh, alcohol heat uh, in the nostrils there. A um, little bit of the oak. I'm getting a lot of earthy tobacco yeah. type. Yeah, there's, uh, there's quite earthy aromas in there. Um, you can tell that it's sweet, but it's not as sweet as some of the bigger stouts that we've mm -hmm. had. Yeah, you can definitely, <laughs> definitely tell there's a little, uh, some alcohol in there. Though. Yeah, it's a really pleasant smell, though. It's not, yeah, like you said, like it's not overly sweet smelling. It's it's real balanced, I think. Uh, you do get, like you said, the malt. So you are getting a little bit of the grain to come through. But all in all, it smells yeah. really good. Let's taste it. Let's do it. Well, you definitely get a little bit of roastiness in there. You get a lot. This, granted, wouldn't we pick this up about, it was in the fall uh, of 2015, and it's April, May. May, so now, right May now. 2016. It hasn't sat for real long. A um, little bit of a, there's still quite a bit of a alcohol bite to it. Um, it's real smooth though, it's real velvety, uh, but flavor-wise it's a lot of roasted, a little bit of chocolate, but I don't know that I taste much in the vanilla area. <laughs> um, wow, I'm, in my opinion, I think you're yeah, being, I, <laughs> I think you're being nice. Um, for me, we are serving this at right about probably the temperature that they want or recommend, it's uh, 50 degrees. Um, 
For me, the body's not that silky, um, per wow. se. Um, it is smooth, but you can definitely tell that there's carbonation in there, um, which with like Dark Lord, for instance, you can't really tell that there's too much carbonation in there. Um, for me, this beer, despite the fact that it's been aging for, like you said, about, what, eight months, yeah, maybe, maybe. maybe. Um, seven, eight months, it's, it's a mess. Um, first, at the front of the tongue, you, you get a, a nice little bit of heat, um, bite, um, you also get, you can tell that's where the sweetness comes in, but it's a generic sweetness. I'm not getting a ton of vanilla, I'm getting a little bit, maybe a little bit of caramelized sugar. Um, Past that though, it's a lot of roasted, burnt type malts in the front half, but for me on the back half, it's all alcohol. Um, I don't agree. It is dry, uh, but the alcohol does come back up and kind of recoats uh, your mouth, in my opinion, with the, with the fumes or whatever. It doesn't yeah, it quite, does. yeah, it doesn't quite creep up into the sinuses at all. But for me, this is you definitely know it's thirteen percent. They don't, in my opinion, do a great job of hiding this at all, and I'm not getting a ton out of this because the alcohol is killing it for me. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why you disagreed, but I, I tend to go there. We're just describing flavors and stuff, but uh, no, the overall synopsis I think is fair. And, and then a little bit like a sour kind of thing, not like a sour sour, but just kind of like a mixture of like alcohol and burnt malt kind of sour yeah. tinge in there. To be honest, there's almost like a, almost like they hopped it or something, you know what I mean? Just real subtle. Oh, I did. No, but I mean... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sorry. It's almost got some hop oil flavor to it. Some presence that you wouldn't normally expect. And I think part of it's just still young. I uh, can't wait to see how it ages. We've got plenty of it. Yeah, we had a lot. Uh, maybe on our trade list one of these days, too. So. Yeah, this is our second bottle that we've taken down. And I think we still have probably 12 more. Yeah, plus we've got... How many variants do we get? Well, six one, total two, variants. Three. Yeah, we have yeah. six total variants. Um, yeah. Uh, pulling up on Rape Beer, um, style is an Imperial Stout. Um, comes in at a 96 for the style and 100 overall. Uh, what are you going to give this one? Right now, for the style? Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll go with ten. I think, I think it's ten. <laughs> That's it. Um, <laughs> well, I think we don't do the micro increments. You know, we usually go halves. And I think I just feel like nine and a half would be a little too low for the quality of a beer. Um, so ten, I think, is fair. I think it is a world class beer. Uh, You're gonna talk me out of it. I'm gonna go nine. Wow. Um, I think that's solid. Um, world class? No. Um, I've had better beers with less reputation, like the Bomb, for instance, I think it's probably a little bit better. Uh, admittedly, the last couple I've had haven't panned out as well as that first one. Nostalgia. Um, it's just not balanced, really at all. Um, like you said, in the nose you get a lot more of the sweetness um, to me than you do in the flavor because it's mostly towards the front quarter to maybe front half of the tongue and then uh, everything on the back end to me is just a boozy mess. Actually, I'm going to back down a nine and a half. I took another swig and it's just, it is missing a little bit. Yeah, and to me, if they hid the alcohol better, um, it would probably be a nine and a half, ten, um, but it's just so dominant, so prevalent. Yeah, it, it, I'm not disappointed, but I, I sure hope, and it is a smoked stout too, I guess we should say, I guess maybe that's where I'm getting some of that it could be kind of flavor, but I, I do hope that with more aging that it really mellows out, um, because for how much we paid for this, I'm a little angry, but it, I mean, it's good, I'm not going to say it's not good, but I'm hoping it, it really mellows out. I have to point out as well, it is, okay, it does say, Imperial Smoked Stout aged in bourbon barrels. I'm not getting mm -hmm. bourbon barrel flavor, maybe a little oak. I am getting alcohol, but not like a bourbon flavor. Really? Yeah. To me, I'm getting total bourbon taste on the back end, and as it starts to warm up even more here, um, I'm getting more of the vanilla 
type of flavor and yeah. caramel sweetness. I'll agree on the vanilla. Um, wow, you don't, okay. Not, not like I would expect to have. Okay. Fair. Anyway, where are we at? Overall? I'm going to go to overall. Overall, I'm still going to keep this at a nine and a half. This is one I'll take down anytime somebody wants to offer it. <laughs> Number one, I don't, I don't usually turn down free beer anyway, but if somebody's going to give me this, yeah, sure, easy. Um, I'll stick with a nine. Um, it's, it's a good beer. It's a great beer. Um, there's stouts, imperial stouts, Russian imperial stouts, whatever you want to call it, that I'll pick over this one any day. Uh, Bourbon County, Dark Lord for two examples. Bomb, probably. Um, but it, it's great. I mean, it's, it's a great beer. Um, definitely worth going out of your way for to get. Maybe not the price point that they had it at, which I don't even really remember at this point. It was like two. 200 or something like that. I don't, I don't know. I wanted to say it was approximately $20 a bottle. Well, we got, well, I guess we got, what, seven bottles a piece, so it was 140 bucks. Yeah. Um, yeah, which is on pace with Dark Lord pricing, which Dark Lord's way, <laughs> yeah, way better. Um, no knock on these guys, though. Solid beer. Yeah, it is a good beer. So, there you have it. Be sure to rate comment, subscribe, uh, let us know what you think about Bo and Luke. Yeah. We are growing still, uh, so we appreciate it. Uh, and also, I'm going to make a request. Um, we'll talk about this in the Dark Lord video, but if you got a treehouse, I want it, and I want you to send it to me. And we will trade, uh, and we also talked about we're going to put up some sort of a list or some inventory that we have that we would obviously be willing to trade. We'll put a link to that in the description once it's ready. So keep checking our videos, yep. check the description, and uh, yeah, you'll see our trade list. And just uh, pretty extensive. It's getting good. <laughs> hey, take it easy. Two DG. See ya.